spaces void. Here comes Diaz mid lane. They're going to drop the bomb. Maybe with the help of FY, will get the kill on mid lane OG Tops. And they'll find that Observer Ward that spotted out FY earlier. So really good read by him. He understood that his rotations were spotted. Finds a different angle to get it. Jerex now it's on lane. Jerex is going to be gone on his rain drop. It's gone, so he's going to be slowly burned down by Ame. The slide of fish will finish him off. But next Nova, can he stay ahead of the Fury? He will. And now Zeb does not have a teleport, so he knows he kind of has to battle Ame back here. But, oh, the ultimate comes out. That'll be enough to finish off X Nova. And the Flame Guard will win. Observer Ward's at least the top half. And just by process of elimination, no X Nova, he's still blocked in, tried to eat two different trees, that's still not good enough. Duck maybe is here, they're gonna try and get the kill on the Jerex as they trade out X Nova, run over by the Remnant. With the rope over, Thompson is Thompson. here. They know they smoke, they've gotta get out of here. Oh, he actually used the magic meter on himself, but there goes FY. X Nova thought he was gonna be the target, now Jerex looks to be able to pick up the batting route in front of him, and body block X Nova as well, with the Orb of Venom, makes him get in here for free. That's why X Nova is kind of positioned to be able to break smoke. Oh, he was there to break the smoke, but and now he's still get cut out. More, and now Jerex is going to try and take some of this. Yes, they're going to turn and try and kill Jerex, but there goes the Chronosphere. Oh, perfectly timed with the Earth Splitter. This is just a beauty of a team fight for OG. And to get the self on Ame as well, rolling Thunder, nails him and tops the finish off Lightning as well. OG just perfectly X Rap, just as we were talking about that mid lane push, pushing Chalice back, pushing the wave in, makes that obvious. They read exactly where PSG LGD is, but. LGD still gonna go for it as Chalice gonna wrap around with FY behind the tier one tower. They're gonna jump for it. Catching no tail. The rolling thunder is out from Jerex already. He's gonna hit FY as well as the Thunder God's Wrath and stuff that they're gonna be able to bring down one support at least. Chalice left in an awkward position here, but maybe focusing on that objective. And OG, a little bit skittish about taking the fight. They've got 15 seconds left of the Chronosphere, and that's why Ame immediately gonna jump into the side ground, hoping to be able to help X Nova out. He's gonna use the ultimate. There goes the Ravage, but does that actually catch Elena? They only managed to finish up Jerex. They're gonna jump over the shrine where Tops and he's sitting all by himself. No, the buyback coming in. Jared, he's going to try and help out more tops in here. Youth after onto himself. The Jar Cups is trying to stay away from Hanna and all that physical damage. The Chrono's back. Oh, just came out. The Rocket Rock is enough to finish up Hanna. Hanna will finish off the Gyro in turn. Ame, he does have a lot of damage though with that Radiance. Can they chase down Ana? Seb is still strong. Chains. He's dead. Going to go for the two supports here. He's got Seb as well as Jared. He will not try and chase down the carry of Anna, but he will get two kills for the team. Going to stick around for the next creep wave. He could just die here. The Chronos here. 2500 HP. Can he actually live through with all this? They're going to be able to help out with the Nimbus as well as York. And go oh, with the Manta, man. Anna just cleaned him up so quick. Go Rush. Go Rush. FY is coming back right now. Stop. Oh, that 40 movement speed coming in just at the right time. Ame sees the opportunity to be able to jump in the back line. He's top time. FY has been stunned up on Anna. Now, maybe is going to be able to get around, but Thompson being hunted down the route. Oh, no! The blink! He got the get He gets out with the shrine activated. FY might just be able to live. Jerry's getting a little stuck on the cliff, but it looks like FY does manage to live. Ame jumping back into this one. Will manage to fly no tail here. That's one support down. Five for five. Now, LGD trying to go back into their own home for to be able to finish up. And he got the right hit. He's dead! And then one up solo. He's gonna be able to jump in, throw it in sphere out the eight start and picked up an Anna. They've got to retreat. This is no longer a fight he can take, which Eric's already picked off the stop stable. And it's been hit! And it's been caught the time watch from the side. Seven's here with his route. Anything to be able to protect from their Anna, but it's still been slowed down. Another stop! This time for the AT, and that will be enough for Anna to be able to get out. It looks like Seb. His life has been forfeited here as he's going to be chased down by Ame off the BKB. Tries to go for the Sprout TP away and he. Off the link, it's managed to get the Hex follow up and they're just going to try and jump out as quickly as possible. They do have him dead. That was my back from Ame and that's. He may not have that A on disc, but he's going to play like he does have it. Jerex going to rolling in with his Glimmer Cape, the Invis Ball. Not really doing a whole lot, especially since they have the vision down. They're going to do a decent amount of Tomlitz, but they have Tomlitz. 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 Tomlitz with the flick initiation from that boy. Here's Splitter. Going to come a little bit too late. No damage being dealt. And Tomlitz can now turn all the attention into the Tier 3. 80 seconds left for uh, Anna's revival here. And PSG LG, they're going to have to poke it down to make sure they don't get caught by the Rocks. He's going to be hit on three. They're going to chase down Jackson's the back line. It's a more finish off seven. The match that is going to be good enough. And Anna. He will pay big time for his death in mid lane as his team scrambles time and time again to be able to push down PSG LGD. They save the rocks here, looks like. Left. The Nothing initiation. The side of OG, they're going to be able to find the initiation. Once again, on the top of Thompson, they have no save mechanism. Now he's dead for two minutes, and PSG LGD 
What's the point of being married? Throw. Just hit the tier four to go throw. 40 seconds still for this faceless void. And a says to seem my bad. bad. And it was indeed his bad. It's that one little mistake from him may have just cost him the game. Death trying to draw some attention away from the tier fours, away from the throw, but Jerry can do little to stop his death. No tails now here. 15 seconds. But the throw being just poked away by Sonics. He's doing so much damage. 2,000 HP. 10 seconds left in the boy. 1,500. That's it. Game one is all PSG LGD. You should be able to get a lot of denies because Ion Shell, especially level one, is pretty easy to beat. And uh, we'll see how OG is going to find a way to be able to break that opportunity for Ame. And their idea is with the Spirit Break, I and mean, he's going to be pulling around. We're going to see No Tail here, maybe die here as challenge. Just keeps on staying on top of him with the Caustic Finale. Well, he did no not tail. expect this level one Caustic. Laying out some taunts, but the dual breath is going to slow him down, and it's going to die underneath the tower. At least it's not that first blood. We are going to charge in from Jerix. He's collected a, uh, a nice big wave. Now Seth's going to try and pop it. That's why uh, uh, Ame and X Nova, they're going to try and chase him away from this wave. Maybe even kill him here. Seth Y is going to show up. And sure enough, they're going to try and uh, kill No Tail at top lane. They really have to. Drop the veil. They do have the epicenter if they want to try and go for it. But instead, Chalice just goes for the body blocks. And it looks nice. like a sandstorm. He's dead. That is so much damage. Yeah. That's why it's so important for Chalice to try and get these invasions, but he's been spotted in more ways than one. He does have that charge onto him that was there, but they actually managed to get the stun. Chalice trying to get away. One for strike isn't good enough. Body blocks from Seb. Disruption out. Now with Somnus here, it's hard for OG to take this fight any longer, at least that chase. They're still going to try and defend their Tier 1. That'll buy Anna more time in top lane. Jerex trying to pull the creep wave away, and he's going to charge out, but he's going to run into Ame, who's already pre-pepped his ulti. He does manage to get him with the charge bash, and as a result, Ame is going to miss out on the kill. The ice pack just falls a bit shot here. And they might just be able to get three as a result. They chain stun on it, challenge the toss up in the air. They pick up that battery group, and now the epicenter. It could be no-tail in trouble, especially with that fail. It's so much magic damage. The support does die, but for OG, this is still a very good timing for OG to hit. PSG LGD have not just been able to invade the jungle that often. Because they want to take mid tower try. first. And we've seen Somnus try and take this mid tower, but every single time OG had formed a strong defense with the Radiance up. Maybe Anna, he thinks he's strong, but the Chemical Rain is going out, but the Ice Path is going to be good enough to protect him. As now Somnus being run down. What a stun! As Somnus pops out of the jungle and hits three, but still Somnus being chased down by the Zion. Anna's way too strong right now. Powering over everybody. The Unstable Precaution spotting FY for a moment. FY trying to hide the Unstable Precaution does explode on the Alchemist. So FY will force them to chase a little bit farther, but eventually he will die. What a big win for OG. For the OG side. They need to be able to get kills in order to get towers, and they're going to start by killing FY in the mid lane. Chalice is going to TP in, trying to return fire. Pops the veil, the charge coming in, and Chalice, he needs to be careful here. They do have Exno who's going to be able to disrupt up the stage. BKB's been used. Up in the BKB, they have the God Strength on Anna, but he just doesn't do enough. Anna, he's a monster right now, and he is pulling down every single member of PSG LCD. The surge to the grave, and now he's going to chase down Ame. Gets him with the unstable concoction, Ame can't get out. He's dead. The only main person of PSG LCD that can survive the ones that made their way behind the tier two for Anna's Alchemist, and now he's going to be even more affected, bringing down towers, but they have been split up a little bit. They're going to try and go for the bottom lane. They quickly execute X Nova, and trying to catch Somnus as well, cutting through the trees, but Jerex will make sure he cannot escape the ice path by Somnus a little bit more time. The TP coming in from Chalice as well. Can he get here in time? It's going to be the double Ion Shell burning away Somnus. The double Bracers just isn't enough protection. Thompson wants more. Doesn't have a toss up for two more seconds. Chalice going to give up on this top lane. He knows he's got to be careful here because now Hanna is going to come down from that high ground. And they've already used most of their TPs. They're going to be able to bring in what, somebody with no tail. They're going to heal up immediately. Ami's going to be able to cut his the way. Charge is coming so across the map. Fine. Thompson has a blink dagger up in a second. Can they actually chase down Ami, or is it going to be X Nova? 
whose life has been be forfeit and sent. In fact, Jarek's is probably going to die here as he's charged in a bit too deep. The Avalanche, unstable concoction. They don't go for the sport, they go for the cores. They're still trying to finish up on here with the BKB activated by Anna. No tail going down underneath the sandstorm, but it's a climbing tier three. Die. Anna doesn't care about tier threes. He doesn't care about the tier fours even. He's willing to die. But the TP coming in from maybe Somnus. He's going to try and get the kill onto the Thompson. He is taking out bit by bit. He has the Spirit Vessel, but he is actually going to live. The Spirit Poison is going to be enough. It seems now challenged. Run down by Anna. Anna is very low, but he still has that Aegis. So Somnus, he commits heavily to build a finish him up. But now he's stuck. Now he's trapped. He's, he's actually moving. stuck. It's blocking him in, and now he's going to get the Oh, no. Somnus thought he could get out again, but Thompson will deliver the finishing blow with Alpha Set for the triple kill. He walks in, his own illusion misread their strength, they misjudged. The fact that OG can dive into tier threes at 18 minutes into the game, the knockback from Jerax, who continues to be unafraid, slowly charging forward. And they're just gonna die for it. She is gonna wear out, but Anna is gonna be able to get the counter kill onto the Shadow Demon. But now Anna is heavily extended himself, and he does have that BKB, but if he's changed up, there's so much magic damage, he may actually fall here in the Temple Rage. Plus the BKB, where's the physical damage? He's gonna get searched out. He's gonna he's searching away, now he's gonna turn. He's gonna re engage. He's gonna turn. What a madman! He turns around and kills Shalas. Ame, they were all stunned up underneath the ice path. Another round of the Storm Hammer. Chemical Rage has worn out, but it's surge away once again. Maybe is back. Fight for the bounty runes. Thompson, ready to go. He's gonna wait out the ice path. He can blink forward, toss back onto Somnus, or he can look for more. He's gonna look for more, and sure, he's gonna grab Jericho. Finds one to them, and then double charge. Into the, into the charge, into the vacuum with the wall. What a sick combo from OG is now. They look to be able to run down even more heroes. X Nova. Let's see if the concoction will actually stun himself. X Nova's just playing a game to ring around the rosy. But it has a deadly finish for X Nova. It's now 9 to 20. OG marching high. But no way he's supposed to be this far ahead. Yeah, 17k. Normally when we say that, we mean like 5, 6. That's okay. 17. Yeah. You are behind. Chain stun, chain stun. They're going to be able to get two different stuns. But Somnus holds on to his as Thompson makes his entrance to back you back. He's going to be another with the double damage from Thompson and Anna. Dealing so much damage as well. Tier 2 to fall. And a tier 3. Surely to follow as he is shield Steve. They just lack the strength to be able to deal with this any longer. Thompson's going to be able to get his entrance into X Nova. Follow up on it. Chalice as Jarex managed to get the nether strike onto him. Chalice Burrow strikes away. And they're just going to call it. GG. Sven picked up his BKB. Not even going to bother at this point. He understands how this game has been done in. I mean, Anna couldn't have said it better, right? With his chat wheel as they oh, look at that. Oh, look Sam at that. with the disrespect. I'm sorry, crowd. Where are you at? Excuse me? Where are you at? I don't hear you. Being able to get the hard counter of Legion Commander against that Slark instead and swapping Thompson over the mid lane. See you feel how... like it's a hard counter? I think uh, when there's Legion a save, Commander against Slark, I think it's relatively okay. I think when there's a save, it's really hard. Top lane, X Nova getting quite low. The Duke from Seth, right click from Jer has to continue to just farm up. And PSG LGD are in a much better spot. In fact, at this point in the game, I believe they were down 3 4k. Oh no! He still managed to get the long range bro strike onto No Tail, but that is a maxed out press tag. Still not good enough to be able to save No Tail. Now the duel on to Chalice with the Ravage out disruption. disruption though. Barely saves in time. They have their splitter over the top, and now Chalice looking to be able to get the kill on this F. Maybe more as Thompson. Burns goes down. Toss forward. Chalice, he's going to die. Saw this actually accidentally killing his offlaner, and maybe he may have just got himself killed as well as Anna chasing him down with the Radiant saw this is gonna need another beautiful toss away. Looking for it, it a little too long, long but it's gonna be too long. The Avalanche is there, the gun slowing down saw this, and the Radiance will burn him down. No chance for a blink. And Anna finally decides to protect. Um, gonna be taken. They see all these heroes rotating over. PSG LGD really wanna Seb take the fight. The but here. Seb is gonna try and get the initiation onto Somnus. They have the unstable concoction, but the rest of PSG LGD is on their way. There goes the duel of a challenge. Gonna be able to get two-man row strike. Ame pouncing in as well. The two-man dark pact on top of everything else, on top of the Somnus. And now they have Seb dead, but Anna is still so tanky. He gave him with his dying breath to press the attack. The level four press the attack with so much regeneration means Anna will be able to bring down X Nova. Now he looks for more. But Chalice, he's just trying to pull the creeps away. The buyback. Over to the side, the buyback. Chen is here as well. X Nova trying to catch him. FY looking for the disruption while Ame taking sacks after sacks, but he waited out the dark. Ame's gonna, gonna die. Oh, the Chalice saves. Ame trying to get away. The toss over onto the Sunny, but it doesn't matter. Ame lives. Anna dies, and now Tom.
Johnson's going to be run down underneath the trees as uh, he tries to juke it around, but eventually some is going to be able to find him. They have the throw strike there as well. Back over Dami, who managed to finish off Jarek. Responding now, top lane. Oh, oh. going to get caught on now. He's going to use that last bit of life to kill the Observer Ward, and he does manage to pick up the Bounty Rune, so Thompson grabbing the three on the right hand side of the map, and if they can actually kill this Alchemist, he would be huge. He still has BKB, but he does a pop it fast enough, he's the Bro Shark is dead! <laughs> Hovering around this area, he's gonna go for the blink, bust up, won't be able to anymore, the Earth Splitter going down, Chalice, who got tries to get in, but he just picked up by Anna, and now Chalice immediately punishes, he's hit by the Ravage, they do have the Disruption on top of the duel, X Noble will eventually die here, Ami with his BKB, he activates it, but everybody of OG is so tanky, PFG LGD was just a mistake to try and challenge this Roche on FY. Trying to get away, but there's so many blinks coming in. Another round of unstable concoction catches FY. LGD lose the Roche on, and they lose three. I'm so surprised. Do have the Agonim Scepter for Somnus. This is going to be rather important in being able to defend. He throws out the volley with the Burrow Strike. That's going to be a lot of damage to start things off. The Avalanche followed up. Seb, as well as Anna, knocked down to half health. But that was the buyback from the Sand King. be able to finish off the Sand King. No buyback from him. There's gonna be one coming out from X, Nova, but these heroes are rapidly regenerating up thanks in part to No-Tail and his healing aura, Aname. He's trying to build up some S and ship charges, more volleys into the back line as he goes, but this is looking like Anna is unstoppable. Jarek spying them the time with the Sandstorm, making sure everybody gets out except for him, and yeah. That is going to be Jarek's con. Thompson thinking about turning around. He doesn't have Ravage. They've come back in. They're coming back in. X Nova going to be saved by so much damage, but in the end, he's going to be left alone. Somnus does manage to finish off Jarek, so support or support trade off. And LGD still down two. Jarek. Oh, oh, Jarek's throwing down some volleys of his own. Chalice prepping the epicenter blink. He's going to be able to get the two in the back line. Can they actually finish him off this time? They're just so damn tanky. There's the no pipe follow up is too damage. Good. They don't have the tiny. The pipe is too strong. And Chalice sitting amongst them inside the sandstorm, trying to push them back but he's gonna have to throw a strike away from Anna as Anna pops another chemical rage, turns to the melee barracks. And this is gonna be two as Ame starts racking up those stacks into the back line. This time he'll commit the BKB to finish off the Chen. Couldn't stop it. And Seb has to complete the teleport in. Managed to get the duel. Can they kill Ame though? The BKB is still going off and he gets more and more stats. Shadow Dance away. Anna looking for any target that's weak, but he has to TP away. He realizes he's low. Disruptions up. He got him. And boy, got him. He stalls up Anna, and now Anna, oh no, the Burrow Strike Challenge! This is not the moment to choke, my friend, but fortunately, Som, this is always there to protect you. And Thompson in the back line has been chased Ame with so many... But I feel like OG's lineup, they're kind of running out of options for what they can get. Buyback from Seb with this stomp. What's happening here? He's actually going to TP over to Ame, but at the same time, they're still trying to finish off Thompson. That is not going to be good enough. And let's the jam on the ground. Too. Right. Jam on the ground. Chalice not able to grab him, but look at the damage rate again from the volley. Ame's down here. The BKB activated. And they quickly realize that with the, the BKB the chemical rage, Anna is too tanky to go for. X Nova thought he was going to be able to get it. Couldn't get the gem. Gem drop. Thompson reclaims. Wow, Perma Aji, that's so much. They're looking for the back line right now. Thompson does oh, have it. He's been caught in his health. He's been a three-member strike. The Ravage goes off, though, controlling up on Manny. Gets first dead. down by Thompson. The big swing of the anchors match. Finish mob now, FY. Trying to get the force tap. Disruption out. Stomp going in. That's going to be Jarek. It's already dead. No tail's quite low as well. But the cores of OG going strong. The buyback coming in from Ame, though. Can he come in? Can he deal with Thompson? First strike out for Chalice. The X Nova is going to be left. Fed. To Anna and Thompson. No tail about to burn out, but no. Oh, no tail almost died there. The president OG is just They're looking like an opening here, trying to jump onto Anna, force something out, for a strike out, but a duel. He immediately used on a tiny. Saw this. Is there a save? There's no. Oh, no, there's no shadow demon here. Chalice is going to go down too. Back. Chalice is dead. They both buy back. Ame, he's now here, breaking Anna. No BKB for him, but he does have cheese. Oh, and the epicenter and the bro strike. They're going to try and finish off. No tell. He dies. Immediately buys back. Anna fighting up against Ame. Ame with the shadow dance, though. Cheese immediately pop. They're going to try and back themselves away. Playing the high power. Ame looking for an opening. Gonna They're go gonna in. Break break. Up He's actually so low already. But he lets loose the Ravage. Are they going to be able to follow up? They have the disruption. Challenge going to be able to intercept. Making sure the Steph doesn't manage to get the duel. Saw this. Four staffed away as well. But they're going in for the Megas right now. They still have a Rax up in top lane. So this is not Megas by itself. Saw this. Trying to finish off Thompson. That is maybe going to be the ages one little bit they spot him out for a moment and, and it away. Away. he almost dies 
for the Shadow Dance, plus the BKB. He's gonna be able to get away. Unstable concoction, disruption, he's gonna stun himself. He does. Thompson, though, making his way up to top lane. Has to force half away. FY in danger of that anchor smash. The finishing blow. OG, all in. One last chance to make their... OG, they might not be done yet. LGD is saying, if we can just draw this out a little bit longer, maybe we can win. But OG may not give the, the chance. Mega Creeps isn't good enough for this team. They're going to go for the tier fours. And will this be the blow that ends the game? Will Look this be that. the way that they get to the grand finals? Or will this be their fatal mistake? One tier four down, a break. On to Jerex, immediately disruption going out. Ame, he's been disrupted. His illusions got to stay away from those. He's going to go for top here. BKB activated. Soul catcher on him. Press the attack, though. Helping him out. Her splitter. Oh, but they, they got to do it. They caught Ame, and he's dead for two minutes. The ball is coming in, but it's not good enough. Now, the physical damage will overwhelm the throne at PSG LGD. And a three versus five can no longer hold OG in the upper bracket finals. Break down LGD. OG are going to the grand finals.